Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you guys doing, Cancers? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are staying grounded. Uh, we're just going through this full moon in Scorpio to conceal or reveal. That is the full moon in Scorpio. Uh, we're going to be experiencing very, very high emotions. Um, we are experiencing a harsh T-square with Saturn in Aquarius and disruptive Uranus in Taurus. Situations can hit a boiling point. It is important to maintain our emotions in control, try at least, uh, to not react based off of emotions as we have a tendency of later regretting that. Why? Because Scorpio is heavily emotionally charged. Um, so it's very important to maintain, uh, take a step back, take a deep breath, and try to analyze before reacting to something, uh, especially if you feel like you're being triggered. All right, Cancers, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of May 2021. Let's see what is unfolding for my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Oof, emotional, huh? The Hanged Man. The Queen of Swords. The Justice card. The Hermit. Oof, the Tower. What the heck is going on, Cancers? The Eight of Swords. The Magician. And the Three of Swords. <sighs> Heavy ass energy, Cancer. All right. Right at the center, you have the Hermit. And the Hermit card is that of listening to your guides, paying attention to your spiritual guides, your ancestors. Um, they're trying to reveal something to you, something that you have either been refusing to see or refusing to accept. Now, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation where uh, you were fixated or I don't want to say obsessed, but it's almost like a feeling of holding on to someone for dear life. Even when you felt like things are just not working out, it's almost a feeling like the more you hold on to it, the more you cling on to it, the more you feel like you're losing control over the situation. And what they're saying here is you have been refusing to see the signs, the red flags, Spirit guiding you, trying to tell you to open up your eyes or to pay attention. And it's like there is a refusal of that. Now this is Spirit and the universe stepping in, showing you that it is time to either release something that is not working for you or completely cut the ties with a person that has brought to you a lot of pain, a lot of doubt, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with or finding out that you were dealing with the person that was married or in a committed relationship. It could have been a situation where they told you that they were separated, that they weren't, they're living together, but they're not really intimate or they're not dealing with each other, etc. Um, the tower with the magician, I feel the magician is in reverse. So this is a person that was deceiving you. This was a person that was not being completely honest with you or transparent. There is a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress, because like I said, you feel like you're losing control over the situation. The Eight of Swords is feeling stuck, but this is on a mental level. So it's like you're refusing to let go of a situation that is causing a lot of hurt or a lot of pain. For some of you guys with the Tower, it's the revelation of a person that has been deceiving you or a person that was in a committed or is in a committed relationship. 
the hanged man is that of realizing or seeing things from a different perspective. This is your idea of this person changing based off of what is coming through or what is unfolding or what you will be hearing about. Um, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that were dealing with the person that you knew were, was in a committed relationship, um, but they painted you a story or they made it seem as if they weren't really working on the relationship. It's come to an end. I'm just trying to figure my life out or I'm trying to figure out certain things uh, to be able to move forward either through a divorce, etc., etc. And it's like deep down inside, your intuition could have been telling you like pay attention, listen, or look at the red flags, or look at that this person is only speaking to you or texting you at certain hours of the day or night. Um, and then when you try to reach out, they don't seem to return your answer, your call, your text, etc. So it's like, I feel that you weren't coming from a bad place. For some of you guys, you were genuinely believing or trusting this person. For others of you, um, you were very aware of the situation and you still chose to remain there. Uh, with the Tower and the Queen of Swords, it's the harsh truth. It's the reality. It is uh, the reality setting in. Or, like I said, things coming out to the open and there's revelations that are coming through or that are coming out about some type of cheating, some type of betrayal, or some type of third-party situation here. Um, the, the best advice I can tell you based on, this, on these cards is, it's very heavy energy, and again, like I said, with the full moon in Scorpio, it is about the dying or the dead or death to be able to embrace the rebirth or a new beginning. If you have a tendency of ending up with people that deceive you or that everything seems to be progressing and then all of a sudden it's like, it, it just seems to come to a standstill and then you find out that they were entertaining other people. What Spirit is telling you here with, especially with Scorpio's full moon, is that those lessons you have already learned, Cancer, how many times is it going to take for you to go to keep going through those situations? It's like you're actively choosing to put yourself in those situations, whether it's on a subconscious or conscious level. So what they're telling you is let go of what is not working for you and stop entertaining those that, you know, revelations start to come out and then they start to chase you again. Whether it's narcissistic tendencies to see if you allow them to come back into your life um, or this could be you doing this to other people. But either way, what they're telling you here is that there's karmic debts that are being either unfolding or that you will be having to deal with. And again, if you were unaware that this person that you were dealing with was in a third party situation or was putting you in a third party situation, know and understand that they're going to get what's coming to them. Let me see. Um, we're going to be pulling out a major arcana. Spirits, what is the energy that Cancer needs to embrace for this May 2021 based on this situation? What is the energy that Cancer needs to embrace at this point in time, what is the energy that Cancer needs to embrace? May 2021. I'm going to be honest with you, Cancers. Um, if it was you, the one that was, you know, genuinely being deceived, let go of that person. Move on. Uh, stop waiting for them to prove to you something. Like that you're hoping or praying for them to reveal their worthiness. They're not worthy of you. You deserve so much better than that. Move on from that. Because by you refusing to cut ties with someone that is still holding on to a relationship and is hurting you and hurting someone else in the process, as well as you understanding that and allowing it, you're carrying on that karmic energy as well. So again, my advice is release that, especially right now with Scorpio's full moon. 
it's about releasing ourselves from anything that is not serving us so that we can find or align ourselves to a higher purpose. Now, if this is you that was being deceived and you did not know that there is a third party situation and you come to that understanding in the month of May or it starts to unfold and things start to come out in the open, you know, what they're telling you is take it for what it is. Don't allow this person to continue wasting your time. You deserve so much better than that cancer. Yep. And we have judgment card here. So the judgment card is a representation of making a decision, making a choice. And this is also about truths coming out. This is about seeing things clearly and concisely for what they are and allowing yourself to move on from that. Take it for what it is and move on or let go or stop trying to give them opportunity after opportunity to show you that they're worthy of you because they're not. Now I'm going to be pulling out a shadow card to see what it is that you need to work through for this month of May 2021. This is our shadow side, our shadow work. What, what we must acknowledge and work through for the betterment of us and our soul purpose. Spirit, what is the energy that cancer needs to acknowledge and work through for this month of May 2021. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Solitude. Okay. So, for some of you guys, it's almost like, it's almost like a feeling of you connect yourself or you based your value and who you are and your worthiness based off of relationships. Now, it's not going to resonate for everyone. For some of you guys, it could just represent that you need to stop isolating yourself, that you need to stop almost becoming antisocial because it's like you are... For some of you guys, it could even be a situation where you kind of feel you can't really express what you're going through to other people because you feel you're going to be judged. And it's like little by little, you've been isolating yourself. And you're to the point where now you're dealing with all of this and you're feeling completely alone. Um, now, for others of you, it could just represent that you're scared of being alone. So for some, for some of you guys, it could be that you entertain or get yourself in relationships that are not genuinely based off of any type of commonalities. It's just that you don't know how to be alone. And what they're telling you is that you, when this starts to unfold, you need to embrace your solitude. You need to find yourself all over again. You need to work on building yourself your confidence in yourself, your worthiness or understanding your worthiness in order to be able to attract a healthy relationship. Now, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while and you keep entertaining or you end up dealing with situations where the person is taken and you don't know that or they're emotionally unavailable and that's usually the type that you fall for, there is a need for you to find yourself all over again. Or there is a need for you to understand your worthiness. It's like they say, you can't love others without loving yourself first. No one's going to love you the way you're capable and able to love yourself. No one knows you better than you, Cancer. It starts with self. All right, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best. Full moon blessings to all of you guys and we'll see each other soon. Bye.